हेलो स्टूडेंट्स आई सुरभित करवा टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू टेक अ न्यू टॉपिक रिलेशन एंड फंक्शन सो द कंसेप्ट ऑफ फंक्शन इज वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट इट कैप्चर्स द आइडिया ऑफ अ मैथमेटिकली प्रिसाइज कॉरेस्पॉन्डेंस बिटवीन वन क्वांटिटी विद अदर इफ वी हैव टू सेट्स सपोज वी आर गिवन टू सेट्स लाइक दिस ए हैव ए एंड बी एलिमेंट and the other set b has c d and e elements now we can make six order pair like this then a comma c a d a e b c b d b e so we can make these six ordered pairs of elements a and b so we can say certain so we can say cartesian product of set a into b which is exactly equal to pq such that p belongs to a and q belongs to so here a into b is equal to ac ad ee bc bd and de so here two ordered pairs are equal if and only if corresponding both elements are equal if p element in a and q element in b then there are pq element in a into b for example we are taking example if p is equal to a b c and q is equal to r so if you want to find p into q then it will be ar comma br and cr similarly if you want to find q into p then it will be R A R B and R C. So here ordered pair A R is not equal to ordered pair R A. So hence we can say P into A is not equal to Q into P. Now relation. So here let two sets A is equal to A B C. and the other set b is equal to p q r s now we can now introduce a relation between r relation between a and b is and we can say the relation r and we can introduce a relation between a and b like this r is equal to x y such that x belongs to a and y belongs to so here we can say a is related to p and b is related to q and so here we can make a venn diagram like this a b c so here the element of a related to s so here suppose we can understand it by venn diagram suppose a b c are the element of a and p q r s are the elements of elements of b now so here we can see a is related to p b is related to q and r and c is related to s so here we can say a relation r from a from a non empty set a to a non empty set b is a subset of a cross b now in xy the second element is called now in xy suppose we have xy the second element which means y is called image of first element y is image of 
x or we can say image of first element the set of all first element of the ordered pair in a relation r from a to b is called domain which means we can say it is domain and set of all second elements is called range so it is the range of the relation now the whole set b is called the codomain of relation r so here we can say range is subset of codomain similarly we can say that the total number of relation is possible the total number of relation is possible subset of a into b if a in a is equal to p and a in b is equal to q then n a into b is equal to pq and we can say relations may be 2 to the power pq so now we are talking about functions so a relation f from a set a to a set b is said to be a function if every element of set a has one and only one image in set b so here if we have a set a in which a b and c three elements and a set b in which three elements then then it is a function a relation or we can say relation form a relation f from a, a set a to a set b is said to be a function if every element of set a has every element of set a has one and only one image in the set b or or we can say in the range so it is called a function and we can denote it as f such that a to b now here we can discuss many type of functions so here some functions and their graphs we are discussing so first of all identity function f r to r or we can say the function is y is equal to fx which is equal to x and here x belongs to real number it is called identity function and in this function domain is real number and range is also belongs to real number now the graph of this function will be suppose it is x axis and it is y axis origin 1 2 3 4 similarly 1 2 3 minus 1 minus 2 minus 3 minus 1 minus 2 minus 3 so here the graph of function is the straight line like this so here we can say it is fx is equal to x or we can say y is equal to x it is the identity function now next is constant function now constant function we can define it as function r to r by y is equal to fx is equal to c and here x belongs to r and where c is constant domain is real number here domain belongs to real number and range c because of y is equal to c so here how can we make this x axis y axis 0 1 2 3 minus 1 minus 2 minus 3 1 2 3 minus 1 minus 2 so similarly the graph of constant function will be like this and this distance will be c so it is y is equal to c now similarly polynomial function f r to r y is equal to fx which is exactly equal to a n x to the power n plus a n minus 1 x to the power n minus 1 plus up to a 1 x plus a 
so here n belongs to whole numbers a1 a0 a1 a2 up to an belongs to real numbers for example we can say fx is equal to x cube minus x square plus 2 or fx is equal to x to the power 4 plus root x root 2x so these are polynomial functions now rational function rational function function of type fx upon gx where gx should not be equal to 0 and fx and gx are polynomial functions so this is called rational function now we are talking about modulus function this define as f r to r by fx is equal to mod x and x belongs to real number so here fx is equal to mod x and we can define it as like this fx is equal to x if x greater than or equal to 0 fx is equal to minus x if x less than 0 and the graph of here domain belongs to r and range belongs to non negative numbers so the function of modulus or we can say mod x will be like this x axis y axis it is a function of modulus x so these are some functions 